What's up guys, E-Bike Scott here. We got the DB17 Tau Tau with the LR small block. We got the thing out, we got it with the test pack. It's the 20 cell 6P18650 pack. This thing is uh, up and running. I mean, I would guess it goes like 35 miles an hour. I don't know. But uh, the chain's making a little bit of noise. The controller is sine wave, so this controller is completely silent. 72 volt, 45 amp. And I got my battery pack just temped out with three big zip ties and a piece of uh, plastic. Just so I can get a test in. But my chain is making a weird little noise. It's almost like the front sprocket is like catching on the chain a little bit. I don't know. But the thing is actually pretty peppy and I like the torque with this large rear sprocket. It's pretty awesome. I got a thumb throttle on it just like the Kuberg. I seem to like that better because you can't whiskey throttle it when, it when they're really touchy. See, so it's on power five right now. You can barely see it. You can go to power four, power three, power two, and then one is eco. I still don't have a rear brake. I mean, a lot of things are iffy. The seat's solid. I welded it in place. Mounts for the Velocity. And I'm um, cutting off a bunch of things that you don't need on the frame, like all these little tabs. I'm cutting them all off slowly. I'll probably cut this off too. Ooh, come on, throttle kick in. There we go. There's that noise. gets up and goes though. I don't know if you can hear that noise. It's like every time you start engaging the throttle, it has like a steady rubbing noise. All right, so this bike is friggin' silly powerful. <laughs> like, this motor is super tiny. Like, I can't even tell you. This is the LR small block, and it's like tiny, maybe three and a half inches wide. It's just the smallest motor, and it has so much torque. Obviously, this rear huge sprocket helps a ton, but man, this is a powerful little setup. It's almost like too janky to get it up to full speed because i ran it down the new paved road down here and it got up to 100 kilometers per hour on the meter now i don't think that's accurate at all but this thing might do 40 miles an hour i'm not sure i need to get a gps on it but there's a few things that are a little sketchy the front brakes they're downhill brakes from like 20 years ago and the pads are squealing and all I have is front brakes and it's a little sketchy to stop this thing. The uh, headset's like kind of wobbling a tiny bit, like it's not perfect, but I like it. This rear shock is very capable. I might need to put a better front end on this thing. I'm thinking maybe like a downhill fork and a through axle, I don't know. All right, so I just ran the Tau Tau DB17 LR small block, and we got 34 miles per hour on the GPS, and I had to let off immediately. So I'm thinking it can get up to about 35 miles an hour with this gearing. 